In this video, I'm going to talk about obtaining the derivative of a power function. So the sample function we're going to use is this. I changed the x to u, but that's just a variable or the function. And a is our constant. Now following that function, the formula we're going to use to, to obtain the derivative is we're going to bring down the coefficient we had, so a, the, the, not the coefficient, the, the power of the u. So when we're going to make it the coefficient of our new function. So here we go, our coefficient is a. And then you're going to subtract 1 to the, to the power you had previously in your variable. And finally, you're going to write du dx, but that's just 1. So let's say I'm going to solve some examples right now to show you how to use it. So first is when, when our function is just x. As you may know, the derivative of, of just x is 1. So I'll prove you how, how that works using the power function. Now the power of this x is 1. So the first thing you'll do is write that 1 as a coefficient. But you don't really have to write it because it's just 1. Then you're going to subtract the power. So 1 minus 1. That's going to give us 0. So it will make all of this 1 d the x over dx so this is going to be 1 we have 1 here and this is 1 as well so our result is 1 and that's how you obtain it using the power function you can also do, in, do it using the instantaneous rate of change equation our second example is x squared so we'll do the same thing you write 2 as a coefficient, then it's 2 minus 1, so it's going to be x, and then dx dx, this is 1, so it's just going to be 2x. Another one, this is a little bit more complicated. So, the way you, you solve this is you'll want to write this as a power of, so as a superscript to the whole function. So this is going to be x plus 3 in parentheses of 1 half. So you will use the same procedure. You write the 1 half as the coefficient. Then it's going to be x plus 3 1 half minus 1 dx dx. And this is going to be equal to 1 half x plus 3 to the negative half. This is 1. So you could just write this as 1 over 2 square root of x plus 3. And then I'll solve one more. So we have x squared minus 3 all squared. So, as we did before, you want to simplify that. So that's going to be x fourth minus 6x squared plus 9. And then you get the, you use the, the function in each of the cases. So you'll, you'll use it three times. Or, in this case, you don't have to use it because this is just, a constant, so and the derivative of a constant is zero. So you'll use the power, the power function twice. And our derivatives will be this is zero. This is going to be four x cubed. You don't have to write the dx dx because that's one again. And then twelve x. And if you wanted to, you could simplify this even further to say four x we would have x squared minus 3 and that's what you get so that's how you use the power function if you found the video helpful like it and share it with your friends and if you have any suggestions to to improve the video or our channel you can go ahead and comment